oh, the Boeing 747, the queen of the skies and more than 50 years of adventures. And now, only 12 more are going through production. I'm done with college, have found a job, and am now ready to create more videos for you folks. We will today honor the 747 by looking at interesting facts about this aircraft. We won't waste any time, so here we go. Flown more than 5.9 billion people. The Boeing 747s have, according to Boeing, flown with more than 5.9 billion people throughout the years. That is about 78% of the world's population. And as the 747's role continues, it provides a service that the original designers foresaw and optimized the 747 to perform as the world's finest freighter. A testament to an airplane that was built to last. Very expensive windshield. The 747th windshield cost around 35,000 to 40,000 US dollars. This is the same price as a Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus or a 2020 Mercedes Benz A Class. What would you buy for $40,000? Tell me in the comments. Modified 747s Boeing has modified around 15 of their 1,500 747 planes for special purposes. Air Force Ones, E-5 military command centers, space shuttle carriers, refueling tanker planes, and the Dreamlifter. Which isn't the most beautiful plane, but a very cool one indeed. This one was built to transport the fuselage to Boeing's new jumbo jet the Dreamliner. A few others are also modified to be converted at a moment's notice into cargo planes. Originally designed to be converted into a cargo plane. The upper deck has been around since the 60s. Back then everyone was excited about supersonic commercial flight, which could have taken you from New York to Paris in a few hours. The Boeing 747 that took 9 hours for the same trip would soon become obsolete. So the Boeing company planned ahead with its 747 model. The plane was designed for both passengers and cargo. So if passengers stopped flying it, the 747 was still useful. That's where the iconic bump comes in. Engineers designed to turn the front of the cargo plane into a giant door. The nose would open up, making it easy to load tall cargo. The 747 Facility Boeing didn't have a facility large enough to build the 747, so they had to construct a new assembly plant in Everett, Washington. The project timeline was so aggressive that the first 747 mock-up was built before the building's roof was finished. The plant is still the largest building by volume in the world. Originally designed with two full-length decks. The A380 before the A380. It's true, Joe Sutter, the lead designer of the Boeing 747, and Pam Am's UN Triple initially hoped to create an aircraft with two decks the entire length, much like the Airbus A380 you see in the skies today. There were two reasons that it didn't happen. Number one, the lower ceiling height of each deck made cargo less effective. The second reason, at the time, two decks couldn't be evacuated in the mandatory 90 seconds or less for airworthiness certification. 
still the fastest commercial plane. There's so much buzz regarding the new generation of Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350 aircraft, which are changing passenger experiences via better cabin pressure, reduced noise and greater fuel efficiency. But when it comes to getting somewhere fast, they're no match for the Queen. The Boeing 747 is the fastest commercial airplane with a top speed of Mach 0.86, just over 650 miles per hour or 1050 kilometers per hour. That was all for this video. If you liked the video, be sure to press the like button. That would make me very happy. Please also subscribe if you like these kind of videos. If you have any ideas to a future video, please tell me. Bye everyone and see you next time.